what we're going to look at now is factorising. Now, factorising is the opposite of multiplying at brackets or expanding brackets. So if I've got something that's inside a bracket at the moment, if I've got 5, 3x uh, plus y, if I expand that out, 5 times my 3x will give me 15x. 5 times my positive y will give me a positive 5y. Now, I've multiplied out my brackets, but well, factorising is the opposite. It's you're given that and you need to put it in that form. Okay, let's start with an example. 3x plus 3y. What we need to think about is common factors. Find the highest common factor on both sides. So the highest common factor, 3x and 3y, and it could be a letter, a letter and a number, or a mixture. So, what is my highest common factor, 3x and 3y? What is 3? 3 over to 3x, and in 3y. They're different, so I'm ignoring them completely. When you've found your highest common factor, put it outside your bracket straight away. Straight outside your bracket and open some brackets. Simple thing to do now. What do I have to multiply 3 by to get myself 3? The answer is 1. Cross it out and stick a 1 above it. What do I have to multiply 3 by to get me 3 on that side? The answer is 1. Very simply now, just write inside the bracket what's not crossed out. I've got an x. So 1 times x, which gives me x, and it's a positive. 1 times y, gives me y. So I've factorised it fully. 3x plus 3y factorised is 3 outside the bracket, x plus y. If we want to prove it, let's just expand our brackets again. 3 times x will give me 3x. 3 times a positive y, positive 3y. Nice and easy. 4x plus 4y. Again, what is our highest common factor? It's 4. 4 outside the bracket. What do I have to multiply 4 by to get me 4? Answer is 1. Same on this side. 1. What's left? Stick inside your bracket x plus y. To prove it, if you want to, you can expand it out, you should be pretty confident now, because it was very similar to that one, the numbers on the different. Let's take it a step further then, and look at something a bit more difficult. I'll leave that one on. 5x plus 15y. With the common factors this time. What will equal it? Going to 5 and 15 with no remainders. Well, it's got to be 5. So again, stick 5 outside your bracket, open your bracket. What do I have to multiply 5 by? To get 5, cross it out, down to 1. What about this side? Do I have to multiply 5 by to get 15? Answer is 3. Just write up what's left. x is 1 times x gives me x, plus 3y. Expand it. It's also a practice for yourself. 5 times x gives me 5x. 5 times positive 3y, positive 15y. Easy marks. Let's look at another example. 6x plus 18y. Again, look for our common factors. It's got to be our highest common factor. A lot of people seem to think that because I've got factors of 6, 1, 2, 3 and 6, and factors of 18, they seem to think that 2 will do or 3 will do. But it's not factorised fully if I put 2 or 3 outside my bracket. It's got to be your highest common factor. And my highest common factor of 6 and 18 is 6. So 6 outside your bracket. What do I have to multiply 6 by to get me 6? It's 1. So 18... Answer is 3. Just write up what we've got. 6 plus 3y. And again, a bit more practice for you. Expand it out and you'll end up with that. Just be confident. Taking it a step further, a little more difficult, which brings into powers. 15x squared y 
plus 25 xy squared. What I prefer to do is rewrite it. It might be a little bit long-winded, but again, the examiner knows what you're doing, and it does help. It's a good strategy to use, and that's all we're trying to suss out here and help ourselves with. So I'm going to rewrite it again here, just in the middle of my board. OK. Now, to make things a little simpler, I'm going to write it, but fully. Now, I've still got 15. x squared is x times x. So I'm just going to put x, x together. I'm not going to put the multiplication sign in. x, x, because I have two of them in actual fact. y plus 25 x, y, y, OK? Now, what I need to do now, again, is identify my common factors. Now, I'm going to start with my letters, first of all. What's common to both sides? And by doing that, all we need to do, I've got x's on that side. of one x there. Any x's on eight? I have. So I identify it. Open my brackets. Anything else? I've got a y. And I've got a y on that side. So it means I can put x, y outside my bracket. Because x, y is common to both. What about numbers now? What are the highest common factors of 15 and 25? Well, it's going to be 5. So put 5 outside your bracket. Got 5xy outside my bracket. Now set to yourself, what do I have to multiply 5 by to get 15? Answer's 3. Considering now I've got 3 and x on that side. 25 now. What do, what do I have to multiply 5 by to get the 25? The answer's 5. Simply now, just right inside this here, this here bracket, what I've left up there. I've got 3x plus 5y. Double check it, and it's good expanding brackets. Practice, let's expand it out. 5xy times 3x, so 5 times 3 is 15. x times x is x squared, and I'm just left with y plus 5xy times 5y. 5 times 5 is 25. x, y times y, y squared. Two marks in the GCSE. Yes, it takes longer to do it that way, but again, it is just, it's a good strategy, and that's what we're trying to, trying to fit in now. Something that's going to help us get these all-important two marks.